Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using this ZY430. And these are just fantastic razors from China. All right, hollow ground, really, really good shavers. Now, uh, Amir sent me a couple of razors on the ZY. He wanted me to uh, sort out the blade geometry and then pull it all the way up to an ILR stone on the home. So what I ended up doing was I put it on my DMT, straightened out the geometry, I then went to my Suhiro 1000-3000 stone and put a bevel on it. Then I took it to the Shapton 8000 ceramic stone and then the Shapton 12000 M M5 ceramic stone and then all the way up to my ILR and that is rated at 12 to 15 K and in the description, I will go ahead and leave a link for you there. Dr. Matt has uh, got microscope shots of blades that he has honed on the very same type of stone that make it look like it probably is closer to a 20,000 grit. All right. So that will be linked in the description there and you can check that out as well. All right. Now for our soap tonight. We're using Stubble Trouble, and this is yard work. And I really enjoy being outside, as you know, if you've been around any length of time at all. And this smells like grass right after you cut it. And to me, that is just fabulous. That's wonderful summertime scent. So now I've just poured off that bloom water We're going to put it on as a pre-shave. All right, and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, how you doing? Hopefully, you guys are well and having a good week. You know, we're halfway through, so that's good. Now I'm using my uh, Omega 10,098. Okay, we're gonna get that loaded up. So tell me how, how you doing? You know, what's going on with you? All right, how's your work? You know, if you work, hopefully work as well, and the world's treating you good, yeah. And uh, we're that much closer to the weekend. Really good. Yep. So, you know, tell me about your shaves. Are you guys having good shaves? I hope so. You know, that's really what this is all about. I, I tell you, I really do enjoy shaving with a straight razor, and I think it's really the only way to go. All right, and we're done with that. So, I am sure. So, hopefully... You guys are learning something and having some great shaves. Yeah, that would be fabulous. You know, having good shaves is good too. Great shaves, even better. Yeah. All right. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Good stuff. I'm telling you. Nice. Look at that lather. Well, 
Stubble Trouble always makes fantastic lathers. Yep. And put a little water on that. And I think we can even bring it up a bit from here. But this is fantastic. So this is the test shave of this ZY430. I just finished honing it and let's give it a try. So now this is also uh, going to be pass one, which means that's with the grain primarily. So we're going down here on my cheeks and then across this way. Then on my neck, that's going to pretty much be across the grain. And then down here, I'm going to try to go this way. That'll be with the grain. And then here, that'll be with the grain as well. So let's get going. Okay, and you see that? Look at that. That was four days growth. Four days. Okay, I wanted to make sure that this was working good. Look at that. Just, I mean, took it off. That is so good and really smooth and comfortable. Quite nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, fantastic. And look at that soap. Great cushion. Really slick. Does a fine job. Nice, nice, great shave. Yep, looking good. 
and this razor performing well, really well. I really like the ZYs. Nice, really good. Comfortable razor. And I'll tell you, the ZYs are very well built as far as every one I've ever seen. And uh, really fantastic job. Pass one complete. Now, let's get that cleaned off, see how we did. Doesn't look like I hit a single bump, although that thing is sharp. Wow, it's like nice, nice. Look at that. And just, I mean, took it right off. Four days growth, four days. That's good. All right. Now, here we go. Pass two. And uh, I got a Friday special coming your way. Uh, it'd be the last of the shaved in tour for 2017. So, heads up for that this Friday on the August 4th. So that'll be good. Looking forward to that. And what I do, you know, I got this whole idea of the shaved in thing from you guys because of your comments and questions and ideas for Friday specials. So keep them coming. Yep. This is how you can participate in this channel and really, you know, we can make this community of wet shaving a friendly, safe place to be, which I think is really a good thing. All right. There we go. Now, this is pass two, which means that's going to be primarily across the grain on my neck here, against the grain on my cheeks here. This will be against the grain as well. All right. And now this is across and against the grain, which really the against the grain for me is really how you tell 
if that home worked out. So let's get going. Nice. And using the full width of the blade really works quite well. That felt good. That was mainly across the grain, but up in here, that was against the grain. Nice, nice, really good. All right, switch hands, get this other side. Okay, so far so good. Nice, nice. Okay. Now, switching hands. Let's get this other side.
There we go. Nice. Okay. Get that razor cleaned off one more time. There we go. Nice. All right. Pass two complete. Now, let's see how we did. Feeling good about this. I really am. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Those cheeks. Perfect. Right where we want them. Okay. Now. Yep, time for the half pass. We'll clean up that neck and that jawline and be all set. Okay, let's do it. Now this is going to be, be primarily against the gray, okay, the way I do this. But, uh, you know, I found I don't need to have a three pass shave. This is sufficient. My cheeks are right where they need to be. No reason to go over more than you have to, right? Okay, so there's that. And now this is the half pass. Let's get going. Oh, sweet. Really good. All right. Okay, switching hands. Wow, that is incredible. Okay, almost there, yep. All right, there you have it. Another shave in the books. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. 
I'm feeling confident about this one. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Here we go. Wonderful shave. And we're going to go alum everywhere. And we dry that off. Nice. Really nice. Okay. For aftershave, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. And now this is Lemonade for the Face. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. And I just put that everywhere. Oh, what a wonderful scent. It really is. So nice. And for our cologne tonight. All right, Florida water. Nothing says summer like Florida water. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to get some of that. Put that on. Oh, yeah. Nice. And that is strong. Wow. Good stuff. Really is. Next, one last thing, and then we're complete. Nivea Poche Bomb. All right. Yeah, sorry this one went a little bit longer, but I was describing the razor in the beginning. And I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. Right? That is so good. I really appreciate you. I do. All right. Thank you so much for watching this shave and being here with me shaving. I really appreciate it. Click right here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment. Share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.